hello viewers welcome to my channel and today's topic is SA or SR SARS uh, it is the abbreviation of uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome <clears throat> but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and uh, share these videos and to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com or alternatively you can click the link in the description here just below this web uh, this uh, video you know so it will take you to the uh, website thank you i'll come to the topic severe acute respiratory syndrome <coughs> you know it's a serious form of uh, viral pneumonia which is caused by uh, SARS uh, coronavirus you know and uh, the virus that caused this uh, SARS was first identified in 2003 you know and the World Health Organization has uh, designated SARS a global health threat and uh, in 2003 uh, an epidemic killed approximately 774 people worldwide before it was uh, uh, successfully uh, contained you know and uh, there's a new uh, there are no new cases of uh, SARS have been reported since 2004 you know and uh, the symptoms include like a fever over 100 and degree uh, 100 degree Fahrenheit a dry cough uh, sore throat uh, problems with the breathing, uh, breathing like including shortness of breath, you know, headaches, uh, body aches, rash, diarrhea, and uh, sweating, you know, night sweats, you know. Uh, and the breathing issues will appear within 2 to 10 days after a person is exposed to the virus, uh, exposed to the virus, you know. And uh, uh, the health officials will uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, current find a person uh, who presents the above symptoms and the uh, uh, family members as well uh, if uh, they have the history of foreign travel you know and the person will uh, uh, be uh, like uh, quarantined for 10 days I guess yeah uh, to prevent the virus from spreading to others you know now uh, the factors that uh, increase the risk of uh, contracting the disease include like uh, close contact with a person who is infected with the SCRS, you know, and the history of travel to any country where the uh, with reported or, uh, out outbreaks, you know. Uh, it can spread when an infected person sneezes, it coughs or comes into contact with uh, into like face to face. Uh, with someone else you know and face-to-face uh, -face contact refers to mean uh, caring for someone with the sores you know or kissing or hugging or uh, touching and sharing eating or drinking or utensils uh, with the same steam uh, utensils you know uh, of the infected person you know and uh, having contact with the bodily fluids of the person okay and uh, so you can also contact uh, by touching a surface where the contaminated uh, uh, the infected person have touched you know or drop the like any sneeze or um, any droplets you know and the disease may also be spread through the air uh, uh, but researchers have not confirmed this yet you know there's possibility you know. and uh, there are various lab tests have been uh, developed to detect the SCRS you know uh, and during this the first outbreak of SRS there were no lab tests were designed that time you know and the diagnosis was made primarily through the symptoms and the medical history you know and uh, now the laboratory tests can be performed on nasal secretions and the blood uh, blood samples you know uh, chest x-rays and the CT scan uh, may reveal the signs of pneumonia uh, characteristics of the which is characteristic of the SARS you know uh, most of the uh, fatalities which are associated with the SCRS uh, were from the respiratory failure, you know, and uh, it can also lead to the heart and the liver failure as well. So a group of uh, uh, the group most at risk uh, 
after developing the complications uh, of the people who are over the age of 60, you know, and who have been diagnosed with uh, like uh, another common condition. Uh, there's no uh, confirmed treatment that works as it is viral, you know? and uh, antiviral medications uh, and the steroids are sometimes given to reduce uh, the lung swelling, you know, uh, but they are not effective for everyone. So the supplement oxygen or the ventricular, uh, like the venti uh, ventilator, you know, artificial breathing, you know, uh, and may be prescribed if necessary, you know, and uh, in severe cases, the blood plasma from uh, someone who has already recovered from the SCRS may be uh, administered, you know. And there's not yet enough evidence to prove uh, that these treatments are effective, you know. Uh, you know, the researchers are currently working on the vaccine for, for the SCRS, you know. So, but there have been no human trials for uh, any potential vaccine, you know. And the reason is there is no confirmed treatment or the cure for the SCRS. And it's important to take as uh, primary preventive measures as as possible, you know, like not to travel to the area where there is outbreak, etc., you know, and uh, stay away from the person who is infected, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Goodbye.